Welcome back everyone. The iPhone 8 Plus has just came out. Just kidding. The iPhone 13 Pro has just came out. So let's go and compare it against the iPhone 8 Plus and see which one you should recommend picking up or whatever. Now if you have all the money in the world, easily the 13 Pro is the better phone for sure. This one has a lot more capability. It's the newest, latest, and greatest iPhone. And the iPhone 8 Plus is one of the last iPhones to bring the home button. The SE2 is more so that. But this is still a pretty decent phone and every time I pick it up I'm pretty surprised the fluidity of this device. So definitely the 13 Pro is the better one for you but it's still interesting to see how they compare. So if you want to pick up either one of these phones including some other iPhones I'd recommend, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now side by side you can definitely see the 13 Pro is a much bigger paneled phone but the iPhone 8 Plus actually has a much bigger bezel around it and it is actually the bigger phone. You can tell kind of in the hand the iPhone 8 Plus is much wider. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. The tallness I don't really see but the width is definitely a much wider phone here. You have a 5.5 inch panel on the iPhone 8 Plus, an IPS panel. The iPhone 13 Pro has a 6.1 inch OLED panel so you're definitely getting a better looking panel, better looking phone on the iPhone 13 Pro. I mean, you can tell how outdated the 8 Plus looks, but the biggest thing to keep in mind is the 13 Pro's panel has that ProMotion display. It's 120 hertz up to 120 hertz, and that is a big difference. Over the screen, you won't be able to tell, but in real life, you will be able to tell this difference, and it is a massive difference for sure. And I'm a huge fan of ProMotion displays, so that's pretty cool. I like the 13 Pro's panel. It's much better than the iPhone 8 Plus's for sure. Now, in terms of the thinness and thickness, this is one thing the 8 Plus has going for it, kind of, but it's not even a Pro. It is a thinner phone on the 8 plus it's one of the thinnest iphones apple has ever made to be honest it feels like it 13 pro is definitely thicker and it is a heavier phone as well but with that thickness you do get a bigger sized battery so it's not like it's not gone to good use you are getting a bigger sized battery on the 13 pro and on the back you are getting glass backs on both which look really good on both of them as well but you do get that frosted glass back on the iphone 13 pro which is another huge advantage of this device you can easily just go and pick up this phone and you can also pick up the 12 pro but this phone is one of the first iPhones to bring that. This iPhone is one of the few iPhones to have frosted glass backs. This stemmed from the 11 Pros, and it feels so good. The 8 Plus unfortunately didn't get it, but the 8 Plus still doesn't feel cheap, but the 13 Pro definitely feels a lot more premium in my opinion. You have the power button on the side. Both of them have, you know, IP certification, lightning ports at the bottom, wireless charging. You do have that massive capability on the 13 Pro. But I definitely do think body-wise, there is a massive difference. The 13 Pro is the future, the iPhone 8 Plus is the past, and you're definitely getting a more future-proofed iPhone from something like the iPhone 13 Pro. However, they both feel pretty premium, so one doesn't feel cheap, but the 13 Pro is definitely the better one here. Now, in terms of longevity, you are also getting a longer-lasting phone from the 13 Pro as well. So if you want an iPhone that's going to last you the longest amount of time, this is the better way to go. The iPhone 8 Plus came out in 2017, so you are getting a longer-lasting phone from the iPhone 13 Pro. That is one of the easiest things for me to recommend you to, is to upgrade from an 8 Plus to a 13 Pro because of the longevity. However, the 8 Plus is not outdated yet either. This phone is still getting software support. It's probably not going to end for another two years. If we're lucky, it may get three years, but I really think it's probably going to get two more years. So it'll get iOS 16 and then iOS 17. And that's really pretty much this phone's future for the most part. The 13 Pro is definitely going to outlast it. I mean, we're just getting started with this phone. So in terms of software updates, that pretty much covers it up there. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these iPhones. Now the iPhone 8 Plus has that Apple 11 Bionic chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM, with the iPhone 13 Pro has that Apple A15 Bionic chip inside of it with four with six gigabytes of RAM actually, six gigabytes of RAM on this specific phone. So let's go and see which one is the faster iPhone between both of these. Okay, there we go. Let's go and clear all the apps in the background. As you can see, they are all cleared out. Let's do phone calls, three, two, one. 13 Pro I think was even faster there. Music, three, two, one. You can see 13 Pro is pretty much faster than the iPhone 8 Plus without a doubt. Let's do mail, three, two, one. 13 Pro again was the faster one. Let's do clock, three, two, one. 13 Pro again is the faster one here. Let's go into news, three, two, one. 8 Plus faster, 13 Pro a little bit behind here. I don't really know why that happened, but I guess it happens. Camera, three, two, one. And the 13 Pro is looking to be the faster one here. Hopping out of this one, let's go and get into Apple TV, three, two, one. And even clicking on an application is so much faster on the iPhone 13 Pro, in my opinion. Hopping out of here, let's go and get into photos, three, two, one. 13 Pro again is faster, a little bit of a prompt on both. Hopping out of this one, let's go and get into stocks, three, two, one. 
And I do think the 13 Pro definitely was the faster one here. Hopping out of here, as always, we have a bunch of these third-party applications we can go and get into. So let's do Instagram, three, two, one. 13 Pro is faster. Hopping out of this one, let's do Twitter, three, two, one. 13 Pro again is faster. I forgot which one this was called. Quizlet, three, two, one. Faster on the 13 Pro. Thank you, three, two, one. 13 Pro again is the faster one, and the iPhone 8 Plus a little bit behind. Nothing super crazy. Let's do Snake versus Blocks, three, two, one. iPhone 13 Pro again is the faster one. 8 Plus a little bit behind. Temple Run, let's not do that. Front. Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And the 13 Pro looks to be flying, and you can see that one did open up faster. And the iPhone 8 Plus got into this little privacy panel. Don't know why that happened. Facebook, three, two, I don't have it here. Twitter, three, two, one, which I think we already did. Temple Run, two, three, two, one. And the 13 Pro is looking to be the faster phone here. The 8 Plus, a little bit behind again. Nothing super crazy. But you can definitely tell the iPhone 13 Pro was the faster one here again. I mean, this is just a fast phone compared to the 13, compared to the A+. Plus. Stack, 3, 2, 1. And again, actually, I don't know which one was faster. They both were pretty identical. And Snapchat, 3, 2, 1. And the 13 Pro is faster. So without a doubt, you're getting a much smoother, faster experience on the iPhone 13 Pro without a doubt. That is a clear visionary thing you can see. I still think the iPhone 8 Plus is pretty fast though. Like I did, compared to these two, does it seem like there's four years of difference between these? Not in my opinion. There seems to be more like, like a year and a half. Like if I had to put a number on it, the iPhone 8 Plus, the design is outdated, but it doesn't seem like it's that much slower. It is a much smoother experience though on the iPhone 13 Pro. So in real life, you're getting a much smoother, faster experience, but I'm still surprised how good the iPhone 8 Plus is, to be honest. So in terms of that, that covers it up here. Now let's go and hit on the cameras. Now, like I mentioned, you're getting dual camera setups on the iPhone 8 Plus, a wide angle lens and telephoto lens, where the iPhone 13 Pro has that wide angle lens, ultra wide sensor, and telephoto lens. So you are getting an extra sensor here. You have 4K at 60 on the back of these things, but on the front, you have a different setup. So you have 4K at 60 on the front of the iPhone 13 Pro, but you only have 1080p at 30 on the front of the iPhone 8 Plus. So that's a little bit of a difference there for sure. Now in terms of the UIs on both, as you guys can see, there's pretty much the same vibe that I'm getting. I don't think there's that big of a difference. You have portrait mode on both, which is great, but you do have this new cinematic mode on the iPhone 13 Pro that I do like. It is portrait mode like for video, which is awesome. The iPhone 8 Plus doesn't have it, but it still has a pretty decent camera array. I mean, you have that telephoto lens, which is good, but you do have that cinematic mode, which is now awesome. Now, like I mentioned, when this phone first came out, it was a pretty solid camera. I think now, obviously, it's a little bit different. You know, you have an outdated sensor. 4K at 60 on the back is great, but you only have 1080p at 30 on the front, and you don't have that ultra-wide sensor, which is another kind of disadvantage for this phone. I do think if you're personally getting this specific device, you're probably going to be outdated when it comes down to that camera, but it's not a horrible experience. You were just getting a much better experience overall from the iPhone 13 Pro without a doubt. On the iPhone 13 Pro, you're getting a much better sensor. I mean, it's a telephoto lens, ultra wide sensor, and that wide angle lens. That 4K 60 on the back and the front is amazing. And it's just an overall better sensor. I mean, just with that cinematic mode, with that extra aperture, I mean, it's a very solid lens. And in my opinion, it is the better camera sensor without a doubt. So now we make it to the end of the video. And to be honest, you know, I do think going to the iPhone 13 Pro from the iPhone 8 Plus is a pretty big difference. You are getting a much better, longer lasting phone from something like an iPhone 13 Pro than from something like an iPhone 8 Plus. This is a very solid phone and it's a very good upgrade coming from the iPhone 8 Plus. This thing has way more RAM, it's way faster, way smoother, ProMotion display, better battery life from this phone as well, which is another big advantage. You're getting just an overall better build quality, you know, better cameras, wireless charging, MagSafe capability, the whole nine yards. This is a very solid phone. 
The iPhone A Plus is still a very good phone too. I think if you go from an A Plus to an iPhone 13 Pro, it's a no-brainer. It's a very good phone. But the A Plus is kind of outdated as of this point. It's not outdated in terms of software. It's still a very good phone. Like I mentioned, it has software support. It has a pretty decent build quality, pretty decent camera, pretty decent speed. It doesn't really excel at anything. The main advantage of this phone now is that it's so much cheaper than the 13 Pro. You can pick this thing up for like probably like $250, probably even cheaper than that. So it's kind of a good phone in that sense, but I don't think it's like a tremendous phone. However, compared to the 13 Pro, it still shocks me how good of a phone this is. You know, it doesn't excel in anything anymore. Before that price tag and for the age, it's actually pretty decent. I'm more surprised about the iPhone 10, but the 13, but the 8 Plus is still a very good phone in my opinion. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.